Hey, everybody, it's Eric, Mr. Low Carb, coming with the surprise live hump day Wednesday, having my morning coffee, and um, I cannot believe it, but last week, last Wednesday, I became a, a brand ambassador for Smart Baking Company, and they gave me my own discount, car, discount code, excuse me, it's Mr. Low Carb, and in one week, you guys ordered 130 orders of smart buns, smart muffins, and smart cakes. That just blew my mind that, that so many people appreciate what I have to say and, and listen to me. I, I know I help a lot of people on a daily basis. Remember, I'm not on this journey um, uh, by myself. We're in this together. I'm not only trying to save my life, I'm trying to save your life with the information that I've learned. So I wanted to do a surprise live to say thank you very much. I cannot believe that 130 people have ordered Smart Baking Company products with my Mr. Low Carb discount code in one week. I posted that Wednesday last week. I can't even believe it, so thank you. So as a thank you, I'm gonna talk about something that's really important, and it's about knowing your numbers. Have you guys seen the commercial? I think it's a Cigna Health commercial where all the TV doctors, there's like McDreamy and Zach Braff, and they talk about knowing your numbers. I watch television, like most of you. Saw the commercial, hadn't got my blood work done, but boy, it really triggered me to want to go get my blood work done. And when you, I know a lot of people, and I do talk to you folks that don't go to the doctor and you're afraid to go to the doctor because you don't want to find out what you really know is going to happen. They're going to probably tell you something you don't want to hear. But once you know your numbers, then you know how to beat them. The thing about weight loss, um, it's not rocket science, but it is math. And I use a term in my, because I sell real estate for a living, I've been a sales manager my whole life, SMART goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. The measurable part is like so key. So for those that don't want to weigh or don't want to measure themselves, I have to tell you, to, to make a real goal and to really achieve it, you have to have a measurable amount. Just like, I'll tell you what, the fact that I know that 130 of you bought SMART Baking Company products because they, they send me a report, I, what a measurable amount of love I got from you guys. So thank you for that. If you, if you didn't get your smart buns or your smart cakes, or your smart muffins, look up into my post. There's a link for the, the uh, smart baking company. Discount code Mr. Low Carb gets you 10% off. Thank you for that. Also, I put my Bones Coffee uh, link up there. You can get $5 off. So this morning, I'm having my coffee here. And my, it says, my, my daughter got me this for Christmas. Inhale exhale. I love this cup. And I'm having a unique flavor today. It's Mint Invaders from Chocolate Space. Check out that. So it's like, it's like, uh, it's almost like, I don't want to say hot chocolate, but kind of. Real minty. I love Bones Coffee. So you guys know my story. I, I started at 435 pounds. I'm down to 260 pounds. I've lost 175 pounds. A huge part of that has been intermittent fasting. That means in the morning, I don't eat breakfast. I only eat from noon to eight. That gives my body 16 hours to recover, mend, and heal. Instead of eating from morning to night and uh, injecting insulin into my body, making my body insulin resistant, I give my body that break. So not only does it help with my weight loss, but it also helps healing my body and stopping my insulin resistance. So if you guys know, last summer I was a full-blown diabetic Went to the hospital and had a reading of 380 blood sugar, but my, my um, fasting blood sugar was 251. And in a matter of months, I've loaded it. I take my blood sugar regularly now. It's around 100 every morning. So uh, it's amazing how I've healed my body, but intermittent fasting is huge. So since I drink black coffee, and I do it in the Keurig here, I love the artwork, Bones Coffee. Check it out. There's a link in my post. But even all their little cups, see that? It's so convenient. So I'm looking for flavors to put into my coffees because I don't uh, put creamer in, I don't put heavy whipping cream in, I don't even put any uh, um, you know, sugar alternatives in, I just drink it black. So this right here, minty, chocolatey, and delicious. So that's what I'm doing. So uh, I wanted to celebrate this morning with this, I, I still can't believe 130 of you guys bought the, the Smart Buns, Smart Muffins, and Smart Cakes. They sent me a sample pack, and I've never actually had the chocolate yet. So this cake I'm about to pull out is 38 calories. So when you fast, Technically, they say your fast will not break unless you have more than 50 calories. So at 38 calories, yeah, still considering breaking my fast to me because I don't have any calories in the morning normally, but 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it live with you guys. Uh, I've never had the chocolate. I've had the raspberry cream. Ooh, and the lemon. Ooh. Oh, a few little cakes here. So they send them made. Mmm. <laughs> I just took a little bite. These are so good. You know what I love? If you're not in my Keto Simple recipe group, please get in there. Just um, search Keto Simple on Facebook. Find my group. Um, everybody's been getting their orders. Remember those 130 people that bought? Their orders are coming in. I'm seeing smart cakes in my feed and smart buns in my feed. And, and again, this is zero net carbs because they use erythritol. Oh, gosh. Mint chocolate coffee. Zero carbs, zero calories. Chocolate cake for breakfast. Who says you can't have cake for breakfast? Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, there goes my first bite ever of their chocolate. Oh, hmm, it's like a brownie. You see on top, they, they do like kind of a, a sugar granulated, probably a erythritol or something on top. It really gives like a sugar, mmm. I mean, this is good. Cake for breakfast. 38 calories. Mmm. I need a drink of my mint chocolate coffee. Mmm. So good. Gosh, I love this. I love this. Order your smart cakes. Go, click my link up there. Use discount code Mr. Low Carb, 10% off. It tells me if you bought it. I appreciate it. I actually, um, it's, I think, I believe the total is over $4,000 worth of, of buns, cakes, and muffins were sold with Mr. Low Carb. So thank you for the love. It's a way for you to show your appreciation for what I do every day because I'm here spreading my knowledge and my journey with you. So thank you. Knowing your numbers. Again, back to that Cigna commercial with all those uh, TV doctors that walk down the hall in the hospital. If you've seen that, it hits home to somebody like me that hadn't had my blood work done in a while. You should know your numbers. And, and, you, and you guys know the ones that aren't going to the doctor. You need to go every year. I know, given the tough love. Get your numbers checked because that really is what triggered my entire, because I, I was, it, it triggered the best part of my journey. I was already losing weight because I knew it was time personally, but when I got my numbers and I found out I was diabetic and blood pressure was high, blood sugar was high, everything, I mean, it, it's a reality check and we need that. You need to know your numbers. That's why I weigh myself every day. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I've got a health scale in there. It keeps me in check. It, 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 I know that I have to answer to that scale. If I knew I didn't have to answer to that scale every week or, or every day, and I did it every week or two weeks, I probably wouldn't be as effective that I've been because I know my weight number. Remember, smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely, measurable. You cannot make a goal without measuring. My goal, my long-term goal was always 250 pounds, but my short-term goals were 25 pounds at a time. So I chunked away 25 pounds to now, I've lost 175 of my 185 pound goal. I have 10 pounds to go. Super excited about that. But it's because I knew my numbers and your blood work numbers. So after I was, got the bad blood work last, last summer, I started going every 90 days to my doctor to get blood work, knowing that I was gonna have to answer to the A1C report. And A1C measures your hemoglobin over the last 90 days, shows where your blood sugar has been over the last 90 days. It's a great way to see if you, uh, you have any diabetic issues. I started at 11.1. Within a matter of months, I got down to a 5.5 into a healthy amount. My blood pressure was 155 over 95. In a matter of months, I got down to 110 over 76. Healing my body with food. Heal your body with food. I, I know a lot of you take shakes and vitamins and drinks. And for, if that's what you need to, to feel committed to this lifestyle, do it. But for me, I decided to do my journey uh, El Natural. I, I want to do it with food. So if you don't know where to start, I get this, probably one of the biggest questions I get it from people that are not on keto or starting keto. First thing I want to say is you're never going to, you, you probably will never be an expert, but you will learn about this process, the keto and low carb process in your life as you do it. And, you, and you'll never be a, a, a complete expert at it, but you've got to start somewhere. So what I want to say is when you start keto and low carb, Stay simple. Eggs are the absolute most keto, low carb, best thing on the planet. I ate eggs three times, three eggs a day, every day for 90 days, and my cholesterol came back half. It went from a 240 or 241, I think, yeah, down to a 107 in 90 days, eating eggs every day. So that's a myth that, that eggs, because they have cholesterol in the yolk, give you high cholesterol. Absolute myth. Again, knowing my numbers, 
made me realize how important eggs are. Eggs are extremely low carb. There's only like one carb and two eggs. So when in doubt starting this process, go to eggs. So um, I, I had sliced meats. I, had, uh, I, I got sliced turkey, but I didn't get the honey turkey or the sugar turkey. I had a lot of sliced meats. Here's a trick. When you go to the deli, have them slice up your oven, uh, breast, uh, oven uh, turkey breast in bags of quarter pounds or smaller, whatever serving size. Instead of giving you like a two pound giant package that you have to come home and prep and split up, have them do it. Have them hand you, you know, four quarter pound bags makes a pound. So now you can just grab and go. That's what I did. Uh, I use broccoli. I love broccoli. Some people don't. I ate a lot of broccoli. I was eating a, a mashed cauliflower and mash, or, and rice cauliflower that I, I didn't make it. Everybody that tries to make rice cauliflower, mashed cauliflower, complains how it's not good and it's runny and it's messy. Just buy it frozen for a couple bucks at the store. That's what I did. I pop it in the microwave. It's five minutes. Boom. While I'm doing that, I'm cooking something else. I ate a lot of chicken. I love chicken, chicken breast. I coat all my chicken breast in an olive oil, put salt, pepper, garlic, put on the barbecue. That olive oil seals in the um, flavor, seals in the juices. So you can put it in the fridge, pull it out a few days later, and it's not dry and icky. So that, I did a lot of that. Uh, what else did I eat? You know, I ate, I ate other, oh, uh, turkey sausage. So if, you can have pork sausage if you like, but if you look at the, the nutritional difference between a turkey sausage and a pork sausage, you can have six turkey sausage links, and I get Butterball brand, for 180 calories. <sighs> Amazing. So in the beginning, I did not eat a lot of bacon. I actually didn't eat a lot of cheese, which is surprising because people eat keto or cheese. I have incorporated more bacon and cheese. I eat a lot of bacon and cheese now, to be honest, but I kind of worked my way up to it. One thing is your taste was so, you know, it's, sugar is like crack, you know, it's like crack cocaine, let's be honest. When you stop eating it, your body's gonna be like, oh, I, need the, I need the crack, I need the sugar. So you're not, so, so try not to like give yourself sugary type things that are similar in the beginning, because you need to cut that habit first, cut the habit of, having things on bread. So don't go get zero net carb bread your first week. No, that's something you build in. Because when you have eggs and turkey slices and, and broccoli and, 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 uh, and chicken or whatever I'm having, I, I had a very regular diet. It gets boring, I understand. But you know what you can have. And then from there you build, you bring in the cheese, you bring in the, the maybe the bacon, or you bring in other things and you can start, like what I did is I started baking using uh, almond flour, and Swerve, which is an erythritol-based sweetener. It does not stall your, your weight loss. Um, in the beginning, I ate a lot of pork rinds. I still eat a lot of pork rinds, to be honest, but flavored pork rinds have something called maltodextrin. Maltodextrin actually has a higher uh, glycemic index than sugar. That means that it makes your blood sugar go up faster than sugar does. And uh, so I needed that, I needed the barbecue flavor to get into pork rinds. But now, I don't need that. So I, I've kicked maltodextrin out of my life and I only eat plain, plain pork rinds. Here's another reality check. Take a look at your Crystal Light that you love. And I drank Crystal Light my entire life and I love Crystal Light and I'm just so thankful to have a zero car calorie option. Crystal Light's number one ingredient in most flavors is maltodextrin. Ugh. Maltodextrin has zero nutritional value. Um, uh, manufacturers use it for a preservative and for flavor. And uh, so, to your surprise, that Malto, that Crystal Light is actually gonna spike your blood sugar more than a glass of Hawaiian Punch. Crazy, right? So check your ingredients, know your numbers. So get your blood work done, folks. I, I, I've been posting a lot lately, I've been growing. And speaking of numbers, my, my weight loss page has gone up like six or 700 people in the last week because I've been posting some of my before and afters out there in the world and getting a lot of love. So those numbers are important to me. It's not just my weight number. It's you know seeing you order 130 orders of smart buns and smart cakes. That makes me feel good. Knowing that, um, knowing that my weight's down makes me feel good. Knowing seeing the numbers in my groups go up, my, my Keto Simple Recipe group, up, group is growing like crazy, like wildfire, my, my weight loss page is growing. Those are all numbers. And it just gives you that measurable amount. So that's what this, this one's about today. It's about knowing your numbers. Um, I recommend that you get to the doctor, get your blood work done, don't avoid it. If you don't like your doctor, if your doctor's not helping you achieve the goals that you want, find a new one. It's okay. Doctors, all doctors know how to put you on medication. Very few know how to get you off. I mean, I was on a road to insulin. I actually had insulin for a few days in the hospital last year when I had a diabetic incident. 
And um, I, I begged my doctor to not put me on insulin because I was already on metformin and I wanted to get off it. So since that moment, I have gotten off all my diabetic medications, off my blood pressure medications, off of my cholesterol medications, and all my blood work is 100% perfect because of the food I eat. Not because of vitamins, not because of medicine, it's because of what I put into my body. Weight loss is the result of many small good decisions, folks. I say it all the time. And like you, I thought I couldn't lose the weight, but now I'm proof I can. Just last October, I was 383 pounds. Look at my pictures. Use that to motivate and power your journey. I'm serious. I am on Facebook chatting with you guys, giving you advice every day, making you cry, making me cry. I tell you what, this is a real epidemic in our country. The, the American diet is killing us. Take control of your own health. Find a doctor that wants to do what you want to do in your life. I told my doctor I want to get off these medications. He worked with me and I am off. I am off medications for over five months and I have never been healthier as long as I can remember. So keto on my friends. Have a powerful day. Thank you for all you do. Check my post. Buy the smart buns. Get some chocolate smart cakes. 38 calories it will blow your mind. Bones coffee. Again, I love these products. That's why I'm presenting them to you. Thank you for all the love, the kindness, the, the, um, the emojis, the messages, the, the stories. It, your story fuels my journey. I know my journey is fueling yours because I hear it every day. I love what I do. Take care, everybody. I appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye.